Welcome to the Cowboy Football Roundup with Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy. OSU coming off a come from behind victory over Iowa State 38-31. It marked the 10th time that Oklahoma State has rallied from 14 points down or more under head coach Mike Gundy and the fourth time in the last year and a half. What's the key to doing that? Because it's not that you want to fall behind. It's just the way games sometimes evolve. But you've consistently been able to come from behind two touchdown deficits to win. What's the key in that? Poise uh, with the coaches first, then the players. Uh, composure doesn't do any good to uh, be critical. Uh, at halftime, I think most coaches would want to scream and get mad at the team um, defensively. There was three times in the first half, in my opinion, that we had them stopped if we would have just tackled. Yeah. We missed tackles, they converted, allowed them to extend the drives and score. And offensively, early there were times we didn't match up in the running game like we needed to. Mm -hmm. Your first instinct is to get in there and, and start to, to grind on them a little bit. Uh, but for us, for me, that's the worst thing that we could do to our players. Um, it's important to them, and we know that because how hard they play. And I've passed that message on to them from day one this season. Our guys play really hard, so we need to teach and coach, find what the issues were, what's the, what's the solution, and then how do we implement a plan. Coaches get together at halftime, um, find the solutions, talk to the players, you know, you get three to four minutes to talk to them. Um, everything's okay, let's tackle better. We made a few adjustments on offense to move the ball. Uh, we need you to execute now and keep playing hard. So the longer I've been in this, uh, it's easy to try to get frustrated, but then you realize it's, it's not going to help. And so really that's what we've done to help our teams whenever we get behind. Stay with us. We look at the highlights of the Cowboys win over Iowa State when we come back. Score an Oklahoma 529 College Savings Plan contribution and a VIP college football experience. For official rules and to enter, visit ok4saving.org. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Welcome back to the Cowboy Football Roundup. Iowa State and Oklahoma State on a gorgeous day for football at Boone Pickett Stadium. A good crowd on hand as the Cowboys play at home for the fifth time in six weeks to start the year. And You know, the one thing about the Cyclones as we work our way into the game highlights is a dual quarterback system and uh, Early on, you were facing the greater running threat, Joel Lanning, but you chase him down here. Yeah, the, the mistake we made there is, is we, we uh, let him get outside to contain. We had him, and he, he raised the ball up to throw it, and we committed ourselves and let him get outside. A great play right there um, on the uh, third down. I, I believe that was um, uh, Trey Flower. Yes. Yeah, Trey made a nice play there to force uh, the, uh, the field goal because uh, on, on third and nine right here, we were able to get the quarterback down and forced them into a uh, field goal situation. They used a lot of clock there yeah. on that drive. They did a good job in the game of keeping us off, off the field, kind of like we did Baylor. Um, there's a third and long again. You know, we've been better on third and nine than we are on third and one, unfortunately. Um, quarterback threw a really nice ball, and James went up and, and took it away from him. He's obviously good at what he does there. Third and short, third and medium, running the ball here. I like we're running the ball on third and medium to offset tendencies. Uh, good job by 27 getting downhill. Uh, had a good surge up front. Now you're into hurry up. Yeah, we're into a hurry up and uh, we ran a, a, a turbo draw, which we haven't done. It's a nice little scheme that our offensive staff came up with. In a third and medium again, uh, Rudolph did a great job here of reading man coverage. And uh, he saw where the pick play took place on the perimeter and the um, inside guy came open, which is rare. Usually it's outside guy that comes open. And um, so he was able to sit in there. We don't have a blocker for the guy that hit him because the back's in a free release mode. Great play by Seals. Yeah. He just continues to make play after play after play. His effort, his downfield blocking, his toughness, a play like that is just, uh, we, we can't have enough guys like him. Good job there. Uh, we need to tackle. I mean, we're, we're running past the quarterback. We need to come to balance. We need to tackle. That's what got us in trouble in the first half. There were three times they extended drives because we didn't tackle. Got him in second and long here. It's a really nice play by 40. Devontae did a great job on the, uh, un on the under route. He read it and saw it and uh, made a big hit there. Put him in third and really long. Um, the play's coming up. Uh, well, we, we stopped him there. Now, now we've got the ball back. Um, again, long yardage situation. Uh, picked up 14 on a second and 16. How about Chris Lacey and his development? The same thing. He's just like Seals. I mean, I'm so proud of those guys. 
Uh, it was a great catch there by James. It's not a good throw by Mason. It was way high. Um, but he went up and got it. Uh, made a really nice catch. Were they giving him extra attention like everybody um, else? Some, but not as much as I thought they would. Uh -huh. um, got We had them on a third and long again here. And uh, we, we need better pass rush than this. I know it's only a three-man rush, but we need better better uh, push. Um, I think Moncrief went up and got this one, did he? Yes, he did. Yeah, he, he's getting better each week. He's showing up more in a lot of areas for us. He's kind of coming through now and, and turning into the player that we thought he was when we brought him in here. He's starting to love the game more. Uh, back to the run game again. Good job by 27 there. Uh, blocked pretty well. I think the safety is the guy that came down on us there. We're in the second short. A nice job by Mason on the check down. If they're going to play coverage and play deep, you have to check the ball down. It's a 10 yard gain. Uh, we're in a hurry situation here. Good job on the uh, release, giving, uh, giving the quarterback room to throw the ball by Washington, and then obviously a really nice throw there. Good protection. James Washington on his way to another big game. Sure. He had eight catches for 152 yards and two TDs, and just moments later, he reached the end zone. Yeah, and this is what we, we haven't had over the last couple of years. We, we have a guy turn loose at the point of attack, and the back just uh, makes him miss right there and he you know you don't have one for the safety on the goal line and he had the ability to step outside and go get in the zone and that's what has to happen we're getting a little bit of pressure here uh, and getting them down and and that's what we have to have and as we move forward in league play with the uh, the quarterbacks we're going to face we, we're going to have to get pressure on them we can't let them sit back there they're they're too talented again same same situation here um, Quentin Osborne D gets in there. DQ comes in, and, and it's an example, Dave, of um, he comes in fresh, and he's he's 300 pounds, and he's quick, and that guy's been in there for a while, and he's tired. Stay with us. Some exciting second half highlights coming your way when we come back on the Cowboy Football Roundup. Welcome back to the Cowboy Football Roundup. Let's move to the second half highlights of Oklahoma State and Iowa State, and down by three, and after going for it on fourth, on fourth down and one, coach, the Cyclones take advantage of it. They they uh, converted, and then that little uh, fake counter boot that they had was is a really difficult play to defend. But we have to keep contained. When when you let when you let him get outside the pocket, then uh, he can he can maneuver his way around, and eventually somebody's going to come open. There they got us on a long yardage play. We got into a man coverage, and we let the guy get inside of us. So, you know, we're in a difficult situation now, um, right now. We're down, what, 17? Yeah. And they've got the ball. There's four minutes to go in the third quarter. And But how important was Zach Siner's 57-yard punt that flipped the field and put them deep in their own territory well, here and starting all of well, this? Well, no question. And, and uh, they, they could have had that there. We had a drop there. So we got a break. Finally, we got a break. And then uh, we go back to work on second long. Mason finds McCleskey here over the middle. Uh, we're starting to play a little bit fast now. and. Uh, we run the uh, the pump play to James Washington. Uh, they, for whatever reason, were jumping him on outcuts, and, and he, he really uh, uh, did a good job by going inside the corner. See there, mm -hmm. most of the time they're outside, but they were they were playing high and over the top because he's such a good fade guy. Mm -hmm. And he went inside and Mason made a nice throw. Our kick coverage units were, were awesome all day. They have uh, been all year. Yeah, haven't there's they? Cook right there. Uh, he loves special teams, and, and he, he gives our uh, our players uh, a little bit of fire. But we cut it to 10, and defense made some plays, and a huge one right here is uh, the strip. I mean, uh, gives us the ball back, it's a 10 point game. We get it on on, the, on their side, and he pulled it out right there. And uh, we got fortunate because the receiver landed on top of our guy. And is that then, the difference? Sure, yeah, he's not, he's not on the ground so he's yet. he's not down. So, otherwise, he would have been down. So we needed a break and uh, went back out and got went right into the running game and has uh, blocked very well. There's Chris Lacey coming from the outside and cracking the safety and we get 12 yards. Uh, yeah, back. this was all run plays to start mm -hmm. this drive, wasn't it? To the yes. short side of the field. Mm -hmm. Our guys had come up with a nice little scheme of, of what we were doing running the ball and then it, you know set up the reverse um, because we'd run the ball so successfully in the direction of the fullback. Mm -hmm. They were flowing really hard. They were slanting a lot, uh, and there was a lot of movement on their defense. Coming into the game, uh, it was a nice pick uh, pick play there yes. on man, and 
and uh, we did a good job there, very well executed uh, with protection, nice ball by Mason, and uh, obviously good route um, by the two guys on the edge. So now we're within three with uh, basically the fourth quarter left. It happened fast. Um, kick coverage again. You know, they came into the uh, game in the top ten in the country in kick return and second in the country in punt return. And uh, Coach Hauser did a great job. They ended up negative two on kick return and uh, on punt return essentially didn't do anything on kick return. They tried to run a reverse. Guys are staying home, coached up. We get them in third and long now and uh, we got another drop. We had fortunate. We need to do a better job of covering number three in the middle, but uh, we got a break. Quarterback did a nice job again of checking down. Everybody's covered. It's a 14-yard gain. Uh, we, we're going to get a lot of that. We got in the stack formation and uh, used a play pass. Quarterback made a throw right on the money. That's what he's got to do. He's got to quit floating the balls down the middle. He's got to throw them. And, uh, and he's good enough to do it. We, we, we uh, stalled out there. I, I wasn't real happy with that based on the momentum we had with the crowd. Right. But at least it's a tie game. So we went from 3 3.30 left in the game down 17 to within the next, what, eight minutes. Now it's About a tie seven game. seven and a half minutes, yeah. The one advantage that we have, Dave, with our style of offense. Here's um, another big play. Yeah, you've got uh, uh, the uh, the tip. I think that was uh, um, Averett, tip Averett and uh, Burton got it. Yes. So um, we talk about it all the time. Now it's coming down to turnovers, right? Sure. Turning the ball over. They had three and you had none. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, but almost one here. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, people had asked me, you know, in the end of the game why you would not run it and, and you would just um, take a knee and then punt it. Unfortunately, there's times that we put the ball on the ground, so we have to play the percentages. Good ball there on second and long, right? Mm -hmm. Lacey made a nice catch in traffic. Again, I can't say enough about uh, what Lacey's doing and um, what um, Seals is doing, what they're bringing to our team. Lacey especially important, and Seals too, with eight, Marcel Aitman out. Right. Look, 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 watch this. <laughs> I mean, just to walk on from Tuttle, America, and uh, couldn't be more proud of what, what he does for our team. We're in second and long. Um, we run our flea flicker that we, we all like so much, and the quarterback does the right thing, checks down and now we're into a third and six instead of a long yards play. Instead of throwing it up for grabs, he, he did the right thing, checked it down, we go to the draw, and uh, there goes Carr. Look, look at uh, 28 on the edge blocking. And Jeff Carr, that was his first play in the game, was mm -hmm. it not? Sure, I joked with him after the game, he's just a, a draw specialist. <laughs> and then uh, Mason did a good job getting the ball out quick, 28 um, on the back shoulder throw there. And uh, now we've got the lead. Defense has to come out and make some plays, and this is where the uh, fatigue, in my opinion, set in on their offensive line and the fret. Our players are fresh based on uh, rotating, and there's uh, DQ again, right? Yes. Uh, so now us playing the two defensive fronts um, uh, is a big advantage for us. So we went to a tight punt. Um, you know, we have the, one of the best target punters in the country. We, we, uh, we asked him to one-step it. He one-stepped it to perfection right on the 10-yard line. And um, this is where we put in our new defense after the uh, Central Michigan game. Um, and uh, they were perfect. Sam staying in their sides of the field. You're in like a zone concept, it's, right? But zone is all it is, sure is. And then uh, the three guys rushing, it's interesting. They have a great plan, well, they, the two of them there, but they're gonna rush and then um, after the play's over, they're gonna chase the ball from behind. Okay. And uh, at, during the game, uh, I understood it, but not as much as I should have. But after I saw what they did and what their goal was, um, it's a really nice plan. When we come back, your chance to get to know one of the Cowboys specialists, Allison Gappa with Matt Amendola, when we come back. You are from Pennsylvania, a yes, little bit north of Philadelphia. Yes, ma'am. How are you in Stillwater, Oklahoma? I never thought a school this beautiful and the atmosphere here uh, would, would uh, basically come in and talk to me about uh, football or gonna go to school for soccer way back when to the University of Pitt and my high school coach told me hey man just come out uh, give it a shot your junior year you know just see what you're made of and I did and for some reason I don't know I just fell in love with kicking I came out on an unofficial visit and like, like we're walking right now in the, in the stadium. Mm -hmm. I fell in love right when I, I came in. Yeah. And I honestly never could have imagined myself playing here at such a big school like this. 53-yarder against 
Central Michigan, fourth mm -hmm. longest in school history. Mm -hmm. How did that feel? I couldn't even tell it went in because of all the old linemen in front of me. Yeah. But I just heard the crowd, so I was just I was just thrilled and Lamp and I we went up and you know just celebrated. It, it just felt so good. It's probably so far it's like my all time favorite memory of OSU. So Pennsylvania to Oklahoma State is yeah. this everything right now that you think you could want in a college football D1 experience. Oh, absolutely. I I can't I can't complain whatsoever. The atmosphere around here, the environment, the people are just so enthusiastic. I have never been around such uh, a crazy crazy crowd like Oklahoma State with orange power, go pokes, pistols firing. It's just it's, it's wonderful. Welcome back to the Cowboy Football Roundup. What needs to get done during the off week? Well, we, we finished up the Iowa State game, and we'll start uh, on Kansas. Um, the coaches are, will leave on Wednesday night to go recruit, so I asked them to have 75% uh, of the game plan done. And Tuesday, we'll have the, the team for one hour, and we'll practice with them on um, Wednesday for about an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, but it will be with our helmets, um, no collisions. Uh, we need to try to um, decompress and recover a little bit. So this will be the lightest off week that we've had since I've been the head coach here. We've got a few guys that are kind of physically exhausted. We need to get them back because we got, we got a good run here over the next month and a half. Uh, so give everybody a break. Can't, couldn't come at a better time for our team. For head coach Mike Gundy and Allison Gappa, I'm Dave Hunt Zyker. See you next time on the Cowboy Football Roundup. The Cowboy Football Roundup is brought to you by Bud Light, a proud partner of Oklahoma State football. Cowboys, raise one to right now. By OG&E, power at the speed of life. By Case IH, get in the red zone and win with Case IH. Learn more about exclusive offers on top-performing tractors and combines at caseih.com slash cowboys. By the visit stillwaterok.org, shop, dine, and stay partners. Be sure to shop, dine, and stay in America's friendliest college town. Brought to you by visit stillwaterok.org. By Mercy, your life is our life's work. And by Cox, your OSU sports connection.